Hello, today we're going to make a steampunk soap. So, all you'll need to begin with is a steampunk soap mould, for this particular type anyway. What I'm going to do, it really doesn't matter what colour your soap is because we're going to hand colour it after the soap is finished. So I've got a little bit of brown soap that was left over in here. I'll tip some white in with it. Uh, may as well put the brown, we use the Renaissance brown pigment dye at this stage and pop a little bit more in there. You don't want it white because that will probably show through, but any other colour, it really doesn't matter. And because I want, if you haven't heard of steampunk, Google it. It's lots of fun, but it's really sort of industrial and it, it's not necessarily light and floral and spring days. So I want a slightly heavier fragrance. So I've chosen the Renaissance Essential Oil Passion Blend, which is a blend of Lang Lang and Patchouli. So I think that's going to blend pretty nicely uh, with, with this style of soap. You can add your fragrance and your colours after the soap is melted if you want to, but I'm going to add it before. It doesn't really matter. Pop that in the microwave for 25 seconds and then we're going to pour it into our steampunk mould and once it's set we'll hand colour it. The beauty of using a silicon mould is that all of the detail, I'll hold it up and see if you can get a close up on it, all of the detail is in the mould. Now when you have a look at this mould it looks a bit rough and it looks a bit like it's been really handmade, but that's the beauty of some of the steampunk shapes as well. So we'll be able to see when you pop it out how that looks. Okay, so the soap's melted. Oh, a little bit full. Okay, give it a stir to mix up the brown, the fragrance and the soap. Just have a look, see if you're happy with the colour. If you're not, add a bit more, have a little smell nice see if it's enough that's strong enough for what I want to do so we can go ahead and pour that so with this one because we're going to completely color it afterwards it doesn't matter if it's not mixed through properly it doesn't matter if it's got imperfections it, it doesn't really matter at all so we're just going to pour it into the mold spritz to get rid of the bubbles on the surface and we'll come back in a few minutes once that's set so now our steampunk soap has set. We'll pop it out of the mould, just release it gently. Silicon moulds are so easy to get out. Give it a little flick and here you have a steampunk soap with keys and cogs and wheels and at this stage it's kind of an interesting soap but it's really nothing that special. So now we want to make it into something a bit special. It looks a bit rough around the edges, looks a bit um, handmade, keys are missing bits and things like that. That's okay. Um, it's actually meant to be like that, but it does look a bit rough like this. So now we're going to hand colour it with the shimmers. So we'll move some of these out of the way. And the colours I'm going to use are the bronze, copper and gold in the shimmers. So firstly, it doesn't really matter, you know, you can pick any part of it that you want to colour. If I hold it like this, perhaps you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn this cog into something metallic looking. So I'll just colour it up with a bit of copper and I'll, I'll do all the copper bits first. Uh, the key I might go bronze, these some gears down here, these can be copper. Really, you can use any colours that you like um, and, you know, be guided by your own imagination and, and your own colours. There's a little padlock over here. He can, he can go a coppery, coppery colour too. Um, the key, I'll go a darker colour so I can still use the same brush. I'll colour up my key in a bronze and colour down him. So we're just hand colouring using the mineral um, shimmers. Now I may as well use the bronze all the way around the outside of my soap as well just to give it a really metallic sort of look. And you can go over this so if you decide you do a bit of bronze and you'd rather it was gold or vice versa you can you can just colour it up afterwards if you need to. Okay. Now I'm making a mess all over my hands because I'm doing it fairly quickly. If you were doing this in your kitchen you might take a little bit longer than I'm taking and get it just a little bit neater 
let's uh, brush that bronze off. Sponge is gone. Tissue, that'll do. I use a tissue. So we'll just clean up the brush on the tissue and use a little bit of gold on the lock in the middle and maybe on the on the key. If you, th these are the only colours I used in the first place and these are the ones that are contained in the steampunk kit. But if you wanted to, you could use a little bit of the silver, a little bit of the pearl, you know, whatever colours you've got in your mineral shimmers and your powders just to give that real sort of metallic look. I'll give it a blow, get rid of all the excess shimmers and then come back again with a little bit of the copper. So I'm really wanting this sort of uh, industrial metallic look. So it doesn't really matter too much where you colour what. And that's a little bit rough and ready. I uh, might need a little bit, let's have a look, a little bit of gold on here. See the, the copper has come up my padlock a little bit and I'd rather the padlock was, was gold. So I'll just colour that up. A little bit and this is one of those soaps that once it's all colored up with your mineral shimmers people really don't realize that it's that it's actually a soap because it, it looks quite metallic a little bit of bronze on the side here color in any little gaps and I'm finished one steampunk soap colored with the Renaissance mineral shimmer powders.